Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter version 3 HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about modular extension files, what we have merged with our Code Igniter setup. Inside the first part, we had seen about a GitHub link and right here as we can see that OWT hub forward slash Code Igniter HMVC. So you need to download or clone this setup from this GitHub repository. So before making this video, I have successfully downloaded that folder to my local system. So how basically we can download those files from this GitHub repository? There are two ways. The first way, either you need to clone from this SVN URL. So copy this URL, back to slide. And let's say that if you have command prompt or terminal to your system, just you need to type the command something called git clone and the SVN URL. By hitting enter, actually you are going to clone the code igniter HMVC to your local system. Or if you don't want to use about the git clone command, then simply just you have to actually click on this download zip button. By clicking on this button, you are going to download about the zip folder of this whole setup to your system. Back to folder structure. Now inside this application folder, in the first part, we had discussed about for the HMVC architecture, we need to download some of the files and which actually we will place inside this core folder as well as inside third party folder. Now what basically these files are? So successfully I have actually opened this code igniter HMVC project into my Atom editor. Now go inside application and inside this application we have called core folder and third party folder. Now inside core folder we have file called my loader and my router.php. Let's see about the code what basically these files have. So if I open code my loader my router. So as we can see that inside these two files only six lines of code we have. Now inside these files as we can see that it has actually included a file and which basically placed inside third party mx and loader.php and successfully inside this class we have defined a class which class basically extend about my loader class and this class defined inside this file. In the same way, if I open about myrouter.php, now inside this myrouter, only we have six lines of code. Inside this, in the same way, we have created a class and extends a class something called myrouter. And this is the class successfully defined inside this file. And this file basically placed inside this MX folder. So back to MX folder. Now inside this folder, we have files called router and the loader.php file. These files basically contain if I go inside loader.php, scroll down and as we can see that MX loader we have and this is the MX loader we have successfully extended inside this my loader class. Now apart from our files called router and the loader, we have one more file something called controller.php. Now if I open this file, scroll down now inside this file as we can see that we have called mxcontroller.php now inside the next videos if we are going to make our modular extensions file we are going to make use of this class inside this mx folder as we ha can see that we have several files called controller, loader, modules, routes and many more. All these files instead of called loader, router and the controller, these files something called base, CI, lang and modules, these are internally used inside this controller. So while studying or going through our HMVC structure, we need to make use of all these files before setting to our code igniter. By putting our files, these two files inside Go and this MX library inside third party, we have successfully actually made a simple CI architecture into a HMVC modular architecture. Inside this core folder, we are going to create a file and this file basically called as my underscore 
controller.php and this file is very important for our upcoming videos. Why? Let's understand first. Inside this PHP code, we have to define a parent controller, let's say parent controller for our modular based controllers and this is based why basically we told as we told as my controller is the parent controller so let me declare first class let's say my underscore controller let's say extends and this is mx controller what we have seen inside this controller.php file and remember this file basically defined or contained inside this mx setup so we are going to inherit inside this my controller class now inside this class first thing we need to set up our construct function so public function construct and firstly i am going to slice our parent construct method so all we have done now this is the simple architecture we have developed for the my controller this class we will use for our up upcoming videos where we will learn about modular based controller files why basically we have called as parent controller as my controller back to slide now inside this if i define let's say that just forget about all these things about hmvc let's suppose that we are just learning about simple code igniter so what basically the pattern actually we have to follow simply let's say class ci controller inside this ci controller it extends about controller about controller and this is the controller basically our code igniter default provides this controller we have extended inside ci controller and by the help of the ci controller if we want to define our user defined controller so let's say our user one this is our constructor sorry controller let's say extends and we have successfully extends ci controller what we have seen so far inside our code igniter playlist this is the default setup or architecture to inherit about the controllers level firstly we have a controller file or a controller class by the help of this controller class we have extends all these features or enhanced by using ci controller and in all the controllers file we have successfully extended about ci controller this is what we had learned inside simple is architecture of ci setup so let's say simple setup controllers in code igniter now in the same way we have made our HMVC architecture what we have done now here we have made a class and this class basically known as my controller and we have extends this class with our MX controller let's say that this is MX controller this is the same line what we have done right here this is our controller in height from the parent controller in the same way inside our HMVC this is our parent controller and we have successfully made an inherit right here inside this my controller so after putting or extending about my controller with MX controller for our user defined let's say user 2 we are going to extend about user 2 extends this is something known as my controller this is the thing actually we are going to implement from the next video so this architecture is about HMVC so let's say HMVC setup controllers now this is all about HMVC and simple CI setup this is very simple to understand CI controller we are going to extend inside CI setup means simple code getter setup but while learning about HMVC we have to make a my controller or any name if you want to give then just you can specify here and this is the name actually we are going to use inside our modular based controllers if we back to editor 
Now my controller from the next video we will use inside our modular base controllers where we will create some of the controllers, models and the views folder and inside our controller folder if we will create any controller then we will extend about my controller and inside this my controller in our upcoming videos we will extend about these functionalities a bit more. So this is all about file overview about HMVC architecture and the final summary point of view that this folder called MX and these files are very necessary to use about HMVC pattern to our modular based programming. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.